Captain, did you hear the news? The East Sony Trading Company is reversing their position. The digital storefronts for the PlayStation 3 and Vita are staying up a while longer. Ah yes, but considering they were planning on taking them down in the first place, I see no reason to change our planned course of action. Savvy. Let's jailbreak a Vita. Alrighty, so Sony PlayStation has announced that the digital storefronts for the PlayStation 3 and PlayStation Vita uh, are not going to go down on the previously announced scheduled dates. The storefront for the PSP is still going down, but I have to assume that anybody who's buying digital PSP games at this point is probably buying them on a Vita or a Vita TV anyway. I would love to declare this as a victory of cyberbullying a big corporation into submission, but they're still gonna take it down a year or two from now anyway, I'm sure. Whatever, hey, you know what? We made a lot of noise things changed slightly. The overall long-term picture of the games industry and games preservation is ultimately unchanged and it's still a disaster zone and supposedly this is not like an official report or whatever but supposedly a lot of the decision making behind taking down the store in the first place was not even about like the costs of maintaining servers or whatever it's because Sony is scared of being hacked which means that when this does go away eventually, and it will go away eventually, it's gonna be, like, even more permanent than we thought it was, because it sounds like they're just gonna completely tear down the entire infrastructure of these old systems completely, because they're spooked. Uh, that is, as of right now, hearsay. Sony has no official comment on any of this stuff, though there have been some reports from people about having difficulty or it being impossible to download patches uh, for certain things on the PlayStation 3 and some other difficulty with the network recently. Um, it seems like the entire, like, old infrastructure, they may just want to can all of it and just use their new system and roll that forward uh, until it inevitably gets hacked at some point too, and then they bail on that, I guess. The takeaway here, folks, is that the situation is still bad, but that complaining actually works sometimes. And then he cyberbullied the East Sony Trading Company into submission. Cyberbullied them into submission. I cyberbullied them. How did he cyberbully them? With my Twitter account. 54 followers. This isn't the last we've heard of this story, and I'm sure all of these services will go down in a few years, regardless of this whole mess. Though the added wrinkle of one of the major motivating factors behind this possibly being that Sony is spooked that their systems have been cracked, so pirates might try and steal stuff or manipulate their hardware, and their solution to that is to shut down all of the services, so the only option is piracy is um uh uh you know it's just you you gotta enjoy you gotta enjoy the little things in life you know what i mean anyway everybody keep complaining write to your video game congressman this may be a small victory but it is a victory complaining works cyber bully the corpos i'll be back with a proper video in a week or two probably but until then remember everyone vita means life